Hello, welcome back. So, um, I'm here to report this game can be addicting, uh, very enjoyable. I'm, again, very surprised. Uh, baseball's my game. Never been a big fan of fast play anything, especially baseball. However, uh, what this game is doing for me uh, that other games aren't is that the cross era option. Uh, I never play cross era because I always feel like that it's apples and apples. A 1930 team playing a 1968 team uh, is going to be at a disadvantage. <clears throat> and so part of this game, uh, Al has created a, a cross era. And you can see if you got the little double arrows that those are cross era team cards. So you're able to um, play teams from different eras and get apples and apples results, according to Al. And so I've been playing this quite a bit since I got it yesterday, and I got a request for the 1990 Cincinnati Reds. So what I thought I would do is instead of playing the 1990 Oakland Athletics, we would have them play the 1973 Oakland Athletics. Uh, see if maybe we can get a, either a five-game or a seven-game series in, depending on how long it takes. And um, there you go. So, again, uh, you, can, you have that option to do season. If you do seasons, you need to use uh, their own boards. <clears throat> Every season has its own board, um, its own result charts. <clears throat> and... Uh, but if you're doing cross era, then you want to make sure that you get the cross era. So again, this um, this game is uh, free of charge for Mal Wilson. Again, a titan of the community. Uh, he asks you to consider to give to the charity of your choice uh, if you uh, enjoying the game. And so uh, I know that he created fast drive football, which I haven't tried, but because of this game, I'm going to um, because uh, again. Uh, surprisingly enough, I really am having fun with this. Wouldn't be my Desert Island uh, game. It wouldn't, uh, if I'm wanting to do a season replay, I don't think I would enjoy this as I, I like every at-bat and the stats as they accumulate and everything. But this gives you just enough flavor of the game, the starting pitcher, uh, closers, uh, who hits home runs, things like that, that uh, it gives you enough of the game that it, 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 it's enjoyable. And so, at any rate, um, we'll play a series here with the 1990 Reds at the 1973 Oakland Athletics. On the mound for the Reds will be Tom Browning. <clears throat> On the mound for the Athletics, the A's, will be uh, Ken Holtzman. Browning is a B plus. He has a six stamina with no um, versus power. And Holtzman is a A ra uh, rating with a 7 stamina and a 6, or a 6, a no uh, change on the power either. So without further ado, we'll get started and see what happens. I played a series between uh, the 27 Athletics and the 57 Braves, which was very enjoyable. Uh, the Yankees had their way. Uh, I think I said 27 Yankees. I may have said athletics, but it was the 27 Yankees versus the 57 Braves. And uh, the Braves won the first game, and that was the end of it. <laughs> so anyway, um, on the first video, I did make some mistakes checking for the home run. I checked over on the finder. I also found that you could do key hits from the finder when you have run, uh, run score result. <clears throat> and so you can get a little bit more context there. I also saw that uh, if you have a uh, um, web gem, like a great defensive catch, you can check who did it and also who committed an error. So, again, just to give a little more context. So this is the uh, – there's two scoreboards. One just basically has this top part, and then this one has uh, the highlights if you want to add. So, again, uh, for me, I want to get as much out of this as I can. So I like the highlight chart. So you get two games per chart. Uh, to, per score sheet on the other one you get. I think it's four per page. Uh, but at any rate, that's the the score sheet I'm going with. And obviously, this score sheet uh, is going to be pretty uh, particular to this game. So anyway, as you probably already know, you do inning by inning. 
and that's kind of why it's called Fast Inning. So, again, 1990 Reds by request, taking on the 73 Athletics, and here we go. So the Reds are the uh, visiting team. They're at uh, Oakland Almeida County Stadium, which is a neutral ballpark. We get a 4-4-5, so that's going to be a clutch situation already, and it is. So we will <clears throat> you do uh, when you do your finder, it's Atba style. So I use the red and the white. I think he says the black and the white, but uh, I've got Atba in my brain. So we'll go with that. So 32 on the finder's chart is going to be Barry Larkin. So I will put him on my score sheet. He is a B. Barry Larkin is a B clutch rating. So again, Holtzman's an A. So you go uh, Holtzman an A, Larkin's a B. So you need a 54, again, at the style or more to get a clutch hit. And that's a 14, so he will fail to get the clutch hit. So when that happens, there's no runs on a hit. And then what I do is you have a place for clutch hits. So if there's a clutch hit, I just do one there. If it's a not, if it's a, f a failed clutch hit, I do a horizontal line uh, so I can keep track of that. Again, just what I do. So, no runs in the first inning. That brings the Athletics up to the plate. Again, Tom Browning on the mound. He's a B plus. Two, three, six. Two, three, six. Is it a strong team or a shaky pitcher? Uh, they are semi-strong, and they did not get the that, so they are not strong, and he is not a shaky pitcher. So, as a result... I fly out to center field in the inning. No runs on a hit. So that was a close one. We go to the top of the second. So the Reds' power is neutral. Oh, that may be a game. I, oddly enough, I've played about 10 games of this, and I haven't had a game day drama yet, but nope, 666 is not... You need a one two one 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 two 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 or three three three, and I have not rolled one yet. So I'm assuming that's that the game day drama is kind of the um, rare play chart. Uh, so again, I'm looking forward to get to one of those, but in about ten games, I haven't had one yet. So anyway, that's going to be a clutch hit bat. So again, the Reds are up. So let's see who the clutch hitter is this time. Forty six is going to be Eric Davis. And he is a B. Again, Holtzman is an A. So we need 54. Uh, 45, and he fails too. So no runs on a hit. So the Reds not getting clutch hitting so far as Ken's Holtzman is <clears throat> coming through in the clutch. Bottom of the second. 2-4-4. Four, four. Weak batting team or tough pitcher. Weak batting. They are not weak. And he is not a tough pitcher. 2-4-4. Four, four. Deep fly down to right. If it's fair, it's a home run. It's fair home run. So how about that? <clears throat> so let's see who hit the home run. So now again, last time I looked in the wrong chart, you look at the home run here. So that's a 15, and that's going to be Gene. Oh, nope, I almost did it again. Uh, it's going to be Gene Tennis still, but I was looking at the wrong chart. So Gene Tennis with a bomb. Oh, I forgot. And then. Back, 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 gone. <laughs> Got to get the effects in. So Gene Tennis with a home run. Let's see. Go to your home run chart here and see all the details. So a 56, and that's going to be a three-run bomb. Let's see how many hits. Uh, one, so the same number. So three runs on three hits. So the Oakland Athletics, one, two, three. Gene Tennis with a home run, three-run variety. 
And it is 3-0 Oakland. So we go to the top of the second. Again, <clears throat> still a lot better at this than I was the first video. But if there's anything I'm missing, feel free to chime in. 2-3-6 for the Reds. 2-3-6. Strong team or shaky. Uh, they are not strong and he is not shaky. So... Two, three, six, fly out to center field. We'll end the inning. No runs on a hit. <clears throat> Bottom of the third. One, two, six. Easy ground ball to the second baseman. We'll end the inning. No runs. No hits. So Browning recovers. Pitches a good third. So as I understand it, if the lead die is a one, that's kind of where your pitcher's ratings come into play. Uh, two is where your home runs are. Three is fielding. And then four, five, and six, if it's the lead die, is where your uh, clutch hits and runs scored and things like that happen. So just FYI. So top of the fourth. Two, four, four. So again, that's the home run area. Uh, weak batting team or tough pitcher. So they're not weak. And he is not tough. So deep fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's a home run. It's fair. Back, 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 gone. So let's see who hits it for the Reds. 26 on the home run finder is Chris Sabo. So Chris Sabo with a bomb. So we'll go to our home run chart. Which I just noticed is in two areas. It's under your uh, extra inning. I don't know what chart that is. No, that's your extra inning there. Last inning. I'm not for sure what that chart is. Hmm. Guess I'll find out. But at any rate, let's see what kind of damage Sabo did. We'll roll all three for this. I'm getting the hang of that. So 36 is a one run. Uh, two more hits. So one run on three hits. So just a solo shot. One, two, three. So like next to the, uh, again, this is just what I'm doing, next to the um, home run, I'll put solo or three run. So Okay, I know what this is. I was doing this as <laughs> the, the extra inning. The whole thing is the extra inning. So this is the first section. This is the second section. Hello. I'm getting over a cold, so I'm on antihistamine, so bear with me. All right, figure it out as you go. I will say this game is pretty easy to learn, even though I made some mistakes. Um, that the gameplay, uh, as I talk about a lot of time, gameplay is a big deal. And so the, the game plays very well and easy and not very complicated, not a lot of rules to to uh, confuse things. So anyway, the Reds get a run. It is now 3-1 to one, Oakland Athletics. So the Athletics are up to bat. One, two, two. I would like to get a game day drama. It's starting to bug me. One, two, two. Uh, fielder's choice following a walk. Ends the inning. No runs on a hit. So five hits for the A's. So now the Reds are up in the top of the fifth. Hey, I got one. Yay for me. All right. So this is exciting. You guys are witnessing my first ever game day drama. So how about that? So now I got to find the game day drama chart. Aha, I found it. So you roll two die, and this is in descending order. So we'll just use our app die. So that's a 56. Uh, runner on first, breaks for second. 
but is caught in a rundown and can't escape the tag. No runs on a hit. So that's something a little different. No runs on a hit. Seven hits for the Reds. So they are leaving a lot of runners on. Not coming through in the clutch. <clears throat> so again, we go to the bottom of the fifth. So that's... I will say that's good that you're not hitting that uh, game day drama too much. And then you also even have an extra drama if you roll doubles on on this. Here, let me uh, take this out. I think this is being a little too shiny. Making it hard to see for you guys, I think. All right. There we go. All right. Bottom of the fifth. Rio, or Browning, rather, still on the mound for the Reds. One, two, three. Is the pitcher's grade B plus or higher? And uh, Browning is a B plus, so that would be a yes. So strike three looking to end the inning. No runs on no hits. So Browning pitching good uh, other than that three-run bomb he gave up to Gene Tennis. <clears throat> so top of the sixth. One, three, four. Uh, swinging strikeout. Gets by the catcher, but he throws to first uh, to end the inning. No runs, no hits. So Holtzman pitching a better game as he only gave up a solo shot to Chris Sabo. Bottom of the sixth. This is Browning's last inning of stamina. One, six, six. Uh, again, uh, is the pitcher grade A or higher? And Browning is a B plus, so that would be a big fat no. That's going to fall in for extra bases. So we go to our runs, our run score chart. So uh, the Oakland Athletics are semi high. They got the decider die, and I always take my decider die out when I use it to remember. Uh, he did say that you need to re-roll if you get another one, so I take that out so I know that I used it. It's just what I do. But anyway, so they are high. So you roll on the run score chart. This is at the style. So 51 is going to be three runs. I should have did this with it. Three runs on three hits. So that's going to be it for Browning. One, two, three. And then you roll on the, uh, to see who had the key hit in the inning, you roll on your finder chart there. 33 is going to be Sal Bando had the key hit that inning. So he got a key hit. So you can see there's a place on your score sheet for a home run, clutch hit, key hit, a web gem, or an error. So that's kind of the options you have there on your thing. So that's going to be it for Browning as he goes six innings and did not fare well today at all. No perfect game for Browning today. So we go to the top of the seventh. Uh, Holtzman is a seven. If he can have him not score this inning, he'll get another run added to his stamina, or another inning, rather, added to his stamina. Uh, ooh, that's going to be, could be trouble, four, five, six. Is going to be in our clutch area, so let's see who the clutch person is. 42, and that's Chris Sabo again. He already has a home run today. His clutch rating is C, however. Holtzman is still in A. So A, C is going to be a 55 or better he needs. Again, Atma style. And he doesn't get it. So Sabo doesn't come through in the clutch that time. No runs on a hit. Go to the bottom of the seventh. The Reds' bullpen are taking over. We're not going to use Randy Myers here. Put them down by five. So the bullpen is B+. Plus. And, of course, they have no stamina because they're assuming you're changing pitchers as needed. And then he does not have a versus power either. So let's see if they can keep the damage to what it is here in the bottom of the seventh as the athletics will hit. Two, three, three, two, three, three. They pop out to the second baseman, inning order. No runs, no hits. So good job by the Reds' bullpen. So Holtzman, 
So he's his stamina is seven. And if you allow zero or one run, you get one more inning. So he'll get another inning at an A rating. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Is it a weak batting team? Uh, they are neutral. Is it a tough pitcher? He is not. Uh, so that's going to be a home run. Back, 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 gone. So let's see who hit it for the Reds. 35 on the home run chart is going to be Eric Davis hit that one. So Eric Davis goes yard. Let's see what kind of damage we got. <clears throat> Roll all three. So that's a 41 on the home run chart. So that's going to be one run on one hit. So a solo shot for Eric Davis is all he's able to get. Two solo shots for the Reds. And one hit. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. We're going to stick with the Reds' bullpen here. It is six to two, Oakland. One, two, five. Pitcher covers first on the ground ball to the first baseman. No runs, no hits. So the Reds bullpen doing a good job. So top of the ninth. So Holtzman is going to drop down two grades. So from a B, um, <clears throat> let's see. So dropping him down two would make him a B. So they got a pretty good lead. Let's see if he can finish it out. <clears throat> so top of the ninth. One, three, five. Second baseman snags the line drive. No runs on a hit. So there you have it. <clears throat> so the bullpen goes two innings. Browning gets the loss. Holtzman goes the distance. Gets the win. The Reds get two runs, two solo home runs, one by Larkin and Sabo on ten, ten base hits, no errors. Um, the Athletics get six runs on just eight hits, no errors. Three-run home run uh, by Tennis in the second, and then a three-run inning in the sixth with a clutch hit being by Sal Bando. And so that's game number one. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do, we'll do a best of three. So we'll pause it, and I'll fill out my scoreboard, and we'll, or my score sheet, and we'll go to game number two. Okay, for the second game, we move to Riverfront Stadium, which is a neutral park as well. See if the Reds can avoid losing two in a row. Vita Blue on the mound is an A7 with no power adjustment. Riho is an A7, and he is semi-tough. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, the A's will lead off here first. Three six six. so that's going to be a defense check. A porous fielding team, they are not. Uh, the Reds are not. They're solid. They're not flashy, though, so you notice like they have an underline. The A's do. The Reds don't have an underline, so that's uh, that means that the A's are flashy. And uh, as I understand it, the solid and the neutral and the porous are their air ratings. And then if they're flashy, that means they're a bit better on range. So at any rate, they're not porous, so easy ground ball to the pitcher. Tosses it to first. No runs on two hits. So the A's leave a couple on. So we go to the bottom of the first. One, two, five. Pitcher covers first. No runs. No hits. Top of the second. One six six is the pitcher grade an A or higher? So again, the A's are up. Riho is an A. So strike three swinging ends the inning. No runs, and they had no hits. So we go to the bottom of the second. Two four six. 
Again, that's our home run possibility area. Two, four, six, hit hard, hit far. That ball's not coming back. A home run. Back, 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 gone. So that would be the red. So let's see who hit it this time. Uh, first game, Larkin and Sabo hit home runs. I think. <laughs> anyway, let's see who hit the home run this time. 55 on the home run is going to be other. So let's see. We can't have an other. So let's look and see who hit the most home runs. Let me pause it. Go to baseball reference. So Hal Morris was the, the guy who hit the most home runs who's not on this list. So we're going to give it to Hal Morris. And what I'll do if it comes up again, then I'll go to the next guy who had the next home runs, and that looks like would be Glenn Braggs. He had six in the year. So anyway, Hal Morris with a home run. Let's see what kind of home run he hit. Uh-oh. Home run, 65. That's going to be a multi-home run inning. So that's the first time I've had that. <clears throat> so 15 is they hit two home runs. So following a multi-home run inning, roll on the run score table, add one run for each home run hit for the final home run count. All right, so, so we got two home runs. So you go to the run. This is a new one for me, too. So the red scoring is neutral. So they get a 36. So that's two runs. So that's going to be four runs total. And then let's see how many hits they had on four hits. So four runs on four hits, two home runs. Four runs on one, two, three, four hits. Let's see who hit that second home run. 52. And that's going to be Paul O'Neill hit the other one. So he hit a home run. So I guess <clears throat> there's probably some way to figure out what kind of home runs they hit, but we'll just go. With um, Morris hit a home run, O'Neill hit a home run. They got four runs on four hits. So I'm finding in my baseball sim, and actually every other sim, uh, the less hung up I get on gets the less hung up I get on details, uh, the more enjoyable I have. So <laughs> the more fun I have. So anyway, the Reds with a big four run inning. I think I did that right. Again, that was my first foray into multi-home run inning so that was exciting so the reds jump out four to nothing we go to the top of the third one two six easy ground ball to the second baseman win the inning no runs no hits so the a's being held uh so let's see now as i understand it again you can do what you want here but uh with the rules that you they have to have six runs before you take them out. Um, I guess you can do what you want. Their bullpen is B plus. So I think I'm gonna. So Vita Blue is not pitching well. Um, but there is 1973. So let's give him one more inning and see if he can right the ship, so to speak. So bottom of the third. One four five. Soft hit over the infield. Tracked down by the shortstop. No runs, no hit. So he does right the ship. Okay. Top of the fourth. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. A weak hitting uh, team. The Reds are neutral. Oh, wait a minute. We're at the top of the fourth. The... They're semi-strong, and they got the dot, so they're strong. Two, three, four. Uh, tough pitcher. 
He is a semi-tough. So we need to re-roll our die here. Ah, oh, and he doesn't get it. That's <laughs> so uh, two, three, four. So not a tough pitcher. Might be, could be home run. Back, 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 gone. So let's see who hit it for Oakland. Twelve on the home run finder is Ray Fossey. It's a home run. Let's see what kind of home run he got. So that's a one-run home run. Uh, they got two hits. So that would be a solo home run. So one run on two hits. Fossey, we know his was a solo shot. So after four, it's four to one. Cincinnati Reds. So we got the bottom of the fourth. Uh, they're going to leave Vita Blue in. One, two, four. Shallow fly ball to center field. Ends the inning. No runs on a hit. Five hits for the Reds today. Go to the top of the fifth. Oh, didn't roll my side or die. Uh, one, two, four. Shallow fly to center field. Ends the inning. No runs, no hits. So the A's get their fifth hit as well. Bottom of the fifth. By the blue still on the mound. Two, three, six. Two, three. A strong batting team. The Reds' power are neutral. Shaky pitcher. Nope. Fly out to center field. Ends the inning. No runs on a hit. So by the blue. Calming down after that rough second. Top of the sixth coming up. One, two, five. Pitcher covers first, taking the ground ball from the first baseman. No runs, no hits. So Rio is mo rolling along. Bottom of the six. Let's see. Both pitchers' stamina is seven. One, five, six. Routine grounder to the third baseman. Inning over. Routine ground ball to the third baseman. Inning over. No runs, no hits. Top of the seventh. This is Riho's last regular stamina. If he gets no runs here, he'll get one more inning. One, two, three. Is his pitching grade hot B or higher? It is. He's an A. So no runs, no hits. Bottom of the seventh. So this will be Blues by the Blues last inning of stamina. One, six, six. Uh, is he an A or higher? Uh, blue is an A. Uh, strike three, swing and missing. Ending is over, no runs. Top of the eighth, 4-1 reds. So the A's up. So, again, Rio will get an extra inning here because he's seven and he's only given up one run. So he'll stay at an A, one more inning. Oh, I, oh yeah, that's going to be the clutch chart. So let's see. I thought we had another day d drama, but we don't. So 21 on our finder fee is Gene Tennis. He is a B plus. Rio is an A. So A and a B plus is a 53 or more we need at the style. Oh, 54. So he's going to get it. So you go to the run scored inning. So that's going to be a clutch hit for Gene Tennis. Let's see. There. Uh, the, they are semi-high. So I don't believe I've used the decider die yet. So they are neutral. Oh, 66 is a big inning. How about that? So you roll again. 14, that's going to be six runs on six hits. So we know J tennis had a clutch hit. So with that big inning, I'm going to add a, a key hit too to it. 13, uh, that's going to be Fossey. So Fossey with a home run, a key hit. Tennis with a clutch hit, they get six runs on six hits. 
And it is now 7-4, to four, Oakland. So, Blue is past his prime. Fingers can go two innings, so they're going to go with Raleigh Fingers to see if he can f finish it out here. So, he is an A, two stamina. He is tough, so the Reds have their work cut out for him. Six or seven to four. Three, four, or three, three, four. Uh, let's see. Three, three, four. Shortstop ranges to his left. Makes the out. Inning over. No runs on a hit. And then the Reds are going to go. See, it's, it's all or nothing. So they're going to go with their closer, Randy Myers. Try to keep the deficit at two. He's an A. One stamina, semi-tough. So top of the ninth for the Reds. One, four, six is the pitching. One, four, six. Pitching grades here lower. Nope. He is not. He is an A. Fingers is. First baseman will take the ball to the bag himself. Final out. No runs. No hits. Oh, wait a minute. The A's are hitting. So Myers is an A, so that still would be the same result. So no runs, no hits. All right. Bottom of the ninth. Raleigh Fingers on the mound. Reds down by two. Two, four, four. Two, four, four. Weak batting or tough pitcher. Uh, and we Fingers is tough. First baseman takes it to the bag for the final out. No runs, no hits. So there you have it. Our two-game series is over. The Reds uh, the Reds are defeated. So seven runs on 11 hits. No errors. The Reds get four runs on seven hits. No errors. So Blue, he went eight. And got the win. Fingers goes one with a save. Riho goes eight. Takes the loss. Myers pitched an inning. Again, home runs by Fossey, Morris, and O'Neill. So, that big inning in the eighth. Uh, you had a clutch hit by Gene Tennis. A uh, key hit by Ray Fossey in that inning. And they, that is it. So, I got to say, this game's a lot of fun. I uh, I keep surprising myself. I didn't think I'd like Atba, and I love it. I didn't think I'd like this, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I, I, I think the reason that I'm really enjoying this is because it's scratching an itch that no other game I have does. Uh, again, I, I've always been intrigued by Cross Era. But I just, I just couldn't get into them with um, the Sims I have. And again, uh, I prefer season replays, and I want every at bat for that and stats, full stats. So uh, again, this is kind of hitting a niche for me with the um, with the cross era charts and the greatest teams. Um, it's hitting a niche for me that. I don't have anywhere else. Um, so I, I could, you know, you can do King of the Hill with this. You could do uh, replay World Series. Again, matchups like this, best of seven, best of five, best of nine, uh, a huge tournament. So, I mean, the options are limited. And, again, you can get through them pretty quick. So if you don't, uh, you know, again, for me, the – the uh, granddaddy of all replays is a full season where you're playing every game with a full, you know, play sim. I mean, you're looking at three to five or two to five years unless you really hurry. And so with this, again, you're not getting full stats. I, again, I wouldn't use this for a season replay uh, because I want full stats. That's just, you know, to me, part of the allure. But doing tournaments and one-offs and... 
uh, series, you know, this is great. You get, a, again, a good a good idea who hits home runs and who was clutch and who played well defensively. Uh, and so, again, uh, very, very enjoyable. So, again, appreciate any comments. I know this game is hot off the press. Thanks again to Al Wilson for creating it and making it available. And it seems like a great game, very enjoyable, and I'd be really interested in what you guys think. I know, again, this isn't my – normal cup of tea but uh i'm finding it a lot of fun so anyway i appreciate it very much and i'll see you next time